We're on Bloody Basin Road. I'm thinking good things didn't happen here. Yes, this is Bloody Basin Road, and it's on the Agua Fria National Monument. We're gonna take a little ride around. Uh, I'm not sure how far we'll get. If the washes are running, uh, we may have an issue. Uh, this is 4,000 feet. Not too long ago, there was actually snow here. Uh, we've had a lot of rain, and I'm thinking the washes are running. We'll see what we can cross and see what access we have. But there is some cool stuff to see. And if not, we've, uh, we'll uh, have a little time riding around on dirt roads anyway. There's a whole bunch of information on the Agua Fria National Monument, but you're going to have to look that up. I forgot to. Basically, uh, you all probably know what a national monument is. You can't uh, do much other than uh, ride on the designated roads. I don't think you can camp here. There's lots of restrictions anyway. Agua Fria refers to the Agua Fria River that rolls through uh, Black Canyon. And uh, this is kind of high desert area. Like I mentioned, it's about 4,000 feet, a little more than that. And it's a nice ride. Um, you can drive most of it with, you know, something with decent ground clearance and you don't really need four-wheel drive unless you get off on some of the secondary roads you're really not I mean it's mostly like this you might get a little gravelly you may have a water crossing or two seen travel past me as I was gathering my thoughts and equipment. I could try, probably drive just about anything down here. Just depends on where you want to go, like I said.
happening. Well, you can see where the water level kind of came right up here. That's where all that silt pushed up. But I don't see me crossing that. Doesn't look like a good idea. Probably be fun in a kayak though. I know uh, you've already seen some UTVs come through here. I suppose you could get through with a Jeep or something, but seriously, um, you are taking your chances with these washes because you never know. But I think there's a concrete base underneath that, just like it is right here, which might help. But they just fished a pickup truck and a horse trailer out of a wash the other day. I don't want to be fished out. 30 miles on the Gulf Stream, I hear the south wind moan. Bridges getting lower, the shrimp boats coming home. The old man down in the corner slowly turns his head, takes a sip from his whiskey bottle, and this is what he said. I was born in the rain on the bunch of train underneath the they were come up with a way to transmit power without wires. These are the great zip lines. Come around every June. The high black water, a devil's daughter. She's hard, she's cold, and she's me. But nobody taught her. It takes a lot of water to wash away New Orleans. Man came down from Chicago. Gonna set that baby right. He said it needs to be at least three feet higher. It won't make it through the night. But the old man down in the corner, he said, Don't you listen to that boy? The water be down by the morning, and he'll be back to Illinois. Suggesting that you could drive that or drive that. With pretty much every vehicle should come with a caveat if it has rained recently or there's been a lot of snow up north or certain times of the year. You will have to turn around because you're not getting through that little water crossing in a minivan. I was coming up with plan B, plan B point two. Reared its head. It's a primitive road. Four-wheel drive recommended. What if you've only got two wheels? I'm a freaking poet.
we're going into uh, forget me Cortez Lakes Cortez Junction Cortez something stuff over here trucks look at the the old tow truck there sweet this guy's got some excellent taste in backyard adornment just wanted to let us know not to stop the store is closed but uh, that's that's the place, um, kind of a antique store, general store kind of thing. But uh, I guess they're sick of people stopping by. I'm stopping on the road, so I ain't bar bothering nobody. Oh, 
all these junipers and pinions, we must be up around close to 5,000 feet somewhere up here. here. four-wheeler convention back there. So this right here, big old mountain range you see in front of me is the Bradshaws. And if you could look uh, that center stack of hills there, and actually right over here too, is uh, snow on the top. That's up where um, Crown King is. I don't really feel like riding a big, heavy, 400 and some odd pound adventure bike in the snow. I know people do it, but not me. All right, let's get out of here. Quite a little steep grade. I'm trying to remember when I first got my trailer, I was camping out here. A place I call Trace Crucis because there's three telephone poles within a hundred yards of each other on a little knoll that looks like uh, looks like Golgotha. Anyhow, um, I seem to remember it was a muddy year or something like that. I couldn't go back towards Bumblebee and I ended up coming up this grade. And I kind of wished that I had gone through the mud.
I'd stop in for a hot dog, but they look pretty stinking busy. Which is a good thing. I like to see these places populated, patronized. Let's go down the rail grade. trail used to used to be the rail line that served uh, Crown King. Back on the town it comes sooner or later when you're alive I heard it was full. I really didn't want to go down this grade, but this is where the old rail bridge used to be. Back we go. And a rain's falling deep down your brain. You lower your head, but the shit's getting tougher. Feels like being a dog on a chain. I hit the road and don't get rusty. Come on, pill out of it. Life is dirty. Out of cleaner. Life is dusty. Watching. Please comment, subscribe, like and share. Audio. Yeah.